everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how to connect cursive font in Cricut Design Space. When we pull up any kind of text in a cursive font, it gets kind of wonky. Everything's kind of separated. So I have found three really great ways to um, pull them together like they're supposed to be. Okay, so the first one is using up here, do you see where it says letter space? That will actually make the spacing between your letters bigger and smaller. Okay, so you can just keep hitting it until they get to where you want. Now sometimes it doesn't work so well, like on here. Um, and so what I'd have to do then is I would have to come up here and ungroup then I would, whoops, put that back over there. Then I would um, combine these, no, combine these and move them over here. And then combine these and move these over here <clears throat> or something like that. That's what I would have to do, okay? So that's the first way. Um, now let's do it again. Let me put my text in again. Good grief. Put my text in again, just like that. Move it up here so you can see it. The second way that I have found <clears throat> is um, completely ungrouping all of them, all the letters. You can do that here, ungroup it in the advanced section, or you can do it if you have it highlighted, over here. It doesn't really matter. It's going to ungroup them. Now you can move these letters like I showed you before, or you can move them um, one at a time. Okay, so let's say that I want to move this one closer to the L. I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard just to slide it over there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to want that a little bit closer. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to move it by hand. Just move it closer. Maybe not, maybe a little bit more. Oops. And the reason I want them, I want them touching because we want to cut these all out as one long word. Okay, so I can do the C the same way. Pull it over there until I like it. And that way these are staying on the same level. They're not getting all wonky you know, as it goes along. I want this one a little bit farther apart, I think. Okay, whoops, not that far. Okay, and we can do the M. I think that's a little close. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. And the last E. Okay, you can also do that with the W. And scoot that over to where we want. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> now it's done. Now I can also do this. Uh, let's see, I don't want to group these. I want to get rid of it. Pull text up again. I can also use a combination. Okay, so here we are again. So I can use a combination of the letter space and ungrouping them. So let's get them together as close as we can, whoops, with the letter space. Keep going. I think that's as close as I want to get. And then we can come up here and ungroup. And I want to take these two letters and move them just a little bit closer to the O. Maybe a little bit down. Whoa, I have a new mouse and I'm really trying to get used to it. And then we want to take, oh, for crying out loud, Brenda, these four letters and move it closer here. That looks good. And then we can take this one and take our little arrows and pull it over. Okay. So there we've got it. Once you're done, you're going to want to group them again so that you can move them as one. 
Now one final thing that you have to do in order to make this process work well, because when we put this on the Cricut, we're going to want each of these letters to cut out in one continuous row. The way to tell whether they are um, connected properly um, is to look at them closely, but we know that they're not going to connect properly. So we have to come over here and we have to change this to white. And for some reason, it's not changing my letters like all at the same time to white. I don't know why. Maybe it's an attach thing. Okay, what? okay there. So I'm just coming over here and clicking on them on the right hand side, the letters, changing them all to white. Now, as you can see, there are lines in here. Can I make this any bigger, I wonder? Oops. Okay, here is a line. It's gonna cut right down there. So the E is not gonna be continuous. Same thing here and here. We don't want that. So in order to fix that, we're gonna come down here on the right hand side at the bottom and we're gonna click weld. Now watch the difference. Now there are no lines here. Now it will cut it as one continual word. Of course the W is going to be separate because that's the way we've designed it to be. But it is now ready to be cut in any vinyl that you want or um, cardstock or whatever. Just make sure that you do the weld as your very last step. step. This is how you're going to combine all your cursive fonts no matter what the cursive font is. Some you're going to be able to play with and make the letters a little bit skewy. And we can actually do that to, um, let's see, no I can't, I've already welded it so I can't do it. Um, let's do this again. Let's do welcome one more time. Whoops, go back here mess. And, whoops. Too far, Brian. Like I said, I got this new mouse. What is the crankity crank? Okay, let's move this whole thing down. Okay, let's move it bigger. Now, let's ungroup them. And let's say we want to make these kind of funky, okay? So maybe we want the C kind of at an angle and we want the O over here doing something funky and the M too. Maybe we want it, you know, but we have full range with this. When, we, when we've unattached them, we can do anything that we want, okay? I mean, I know that looks funky, but you get the idea. So now you have three different ways that you can connect your cursive font in Cricut Design Space. This is invaluable information for Cricut beginners. So now I know you are eager to go and try this. So go on and have a happy crafting day.